the story behind Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. A man named Bob May, depressed and broken-hearted, stared out his drafty apartment window into the chilling December night. His four-year-old daughter Barbara sat on his lap quietly sobbing. Bob's wife Evelyn was dying of cancer. Little Barbara couldn't understand why her mommy could never come home. Barbara looked up into her dad's eyes and asked, Why isn't mommy just like everybody else mommy? Bob's jaw tightened and his eyes welled with tears. Her question brought waves of grief, but also of anger. It had been the story of Bob's life. Life always had to be different for Bob. When he was a kid, Bob was often bullied by other boys. He was too little at the time to compete in sports. He was often called names he would rather not remember. From childhood, Bob was different and never seemed to fit in. Bob did complete college, married his loving wife, and was grateful to get his job as a copywriter at Montgomery Ward during the Great Depression. Then he was blessed with his little girl, but it was all short-lived. Evelyn's bout with cancer stripped them of all their savings and now Bob and his daughter were first to live in a two-room apartment at the Chicago slums. Evelyn died just days before Christmas in 1938. Bob struggled to give hope to his child for whom he couldn't even afford to buy a Christmas gift. But if he couldn't buy a gift, he was determined to make one, a storybook. Bob had created an animal character in his own mind and told the animal story to little Barbara to give her comfort and hope. Again and again, Bob told the story and believed it more with each telling. Although the hero of the story was an animal, the story Bob May created was actually his own autobiography in fable form. The character he created was a misfit outcast like he was. The character was a little reindeer named Rudolph with a big shiny nose. Bob finished the book just in time to give it to his little girl on Christmas Day. But the story doesn't end there. The general manager of Montgomery Ward cut wind of the little story book and offered Bob May a nominal fee to purchase the rights to print the book. Watts went on to print Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and distribute it to children visiting Santa Claus in their stores. By 1946, Watts had printed and distributed more than 6 million copies of Rudolph. That same year, a major publisher wanted to purchase the rights from words to print an updated version of the book. In an unprecedented gesture of kindness, the CEO of Words returned all rights back to Bob May. The book became a bestseller. Many toy and marketing deals followed and Bob May, now remarried with a growing family, became wealthy from the story he created. To comfort his grieving daughter. But the story doesn't end there either. Bob's brother-in-law, Johnny Marks, made a song adaptation to Rudolph. Though the song was turned down by such popular vocalists as Bing Crosby and Dina Shore, it was recorded by the singing cowboy Gene Autry. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was released in 1949 and became a phenomenal success, selling more records than any other Christmas song with the exception of White Christmas. The gift of love that Bob May created for his daughter so long ago kept on returning back to bless him again and again. And Bob May learned the lesson just like his dear friend Rudolph, that being different isn't so bad. In fact, being different can be a blessing. Be inspired this season.
Merry Christmas in advance. And God bless you.